best DJ Hollywood. Now, a big thing with 
being an entrepreneur and owning your own business is branding, all right? Who can raise their hand and explain what they think branding is? What's branding? Very close, he said, having some type of company or business. Yeah, you. Yeah, right, right. You said your own type of clothing, that was good, that was good. So, by example, uh, if I asked you what does the McDonald's logo look like, what would you say? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So that's big, that's the big thing with branding, right? So now what I wanted to do, you know, I, uh, in high school, because everybody's probably wondering why, why do they call you DJ Hollywood? So in high school, they gave me the nickname Hollywood just as a joke, but uh, I ended up rolling with it, and I was like, ah, I'm gonna just keep it. And uh, I made an Instagram, and when I made the Instagram, Hollywood was so popular, like everyone was calling themselves Hollywood, they got Hollywood, California, so what I decided to do, uh, in high school I wore the number eight, all right? And in football, I wore the number eight. And what I did was, if you notice, in the name Hollywood, which is not up here, but in, in the name Hollywood, you can see it on my sweater actually, all right? Hollywood spelled what? H-O-L-L-Y-W-O-O-D, right? So what I did was I got creative, and instead of the W-O-O-D, I put a W-8-D, all right? Which kind of made me stand out from a lot of other people and a lot of other DJ Hollywoods. If you see, you said earlier, right? You said what's branded, like clothing. You see on my hoodie, I got the DJ Hollywood logo right here, right? And you can get this online, you know, tell your parents that for Christmas and all that if you want. <laughs> but uh, it's to the point that I also have, I also have a phone case, right? So if I ever lost my phone, people could not say they know that it's not my phone, all right? You see that, you see that, you see it on the case, right? So, um, now when it comes to entrepreneurship, right, the beautiful part about it is I get to make my own schedule. But the worst part about it is I get to make my own schedule, all right? I know, right? I'll explain. So for example, if I woke up one day and I was like, ah, I don't feel like really doing anything, I'm gonna just stay in bed, then I wouldn't make money, right? I wouldn't get rest, but I wouldn't make money. So as an entrepreneur, that's how entrepreneurs basically make their own money, is by making their own money. So I would reach out to someone, hey, I wanna, as a DJ, I wanna DJ at your facility, your bar, your, um, your club, your school, you know, would you guys have the budget to pay me to bring my services there. They either say yes or they say no, right? Make sense? Right? So that's why I say it's beautiful because you get to pick your, you get to make your own schedule, but it's also bad because if, you, if you're if not a, a hard worker, then you basically make no money because you're gonna be like, you know, I don't need to make money, I'd rather stay in the bed and get some sleep. What's better, sleep or money?
when you eat. Exactly, 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 exactly. There's a structure or a place for you guys to come to school, go home, come to school, go home, and then you get one of the weekends off, right? I hope so. The teachers work for you weekends off. Teachers work. Alright? So now, uh, with entrepreneurship, like I said, the biggest thing is self-investments, right? So I had to spend all my money that I made from my, my gigs, right? So gigs are basically events that I do. So from my events, I make the money, and instead of spending the money on, you know, uh, a new toy or a new, some sneakers or some clothes, you know, I had to reinvest it into my equipment because that equipment is what's gonna make me more money, right? Make sense? Right. So now, uh, now you can go into the Q and A because I know all of you are probably like, I got so many questions to ask. How are we gonna How are we gonna set up the Q and A? So if if you have a question, you're gonna raise your hand, and I'll come up and hear your question, and then I'll set you up to do your offer that. Okay. All right. Making good questions too. <laughs> There's no such thing as a bad question. But make it a good one. No, I try to make it a great one. I'm year 
six into being a DJ, so it took me about two years. I still don't think that I'm a really, really good DJ, but uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep wanting to be better. It's like being a student. You know, you can't be the best student ever. You gotta keep learning. So, yeah, it took me about two years for me to practice, for me to start doing gigs and start booking uh, shows. But yeah, I'm six years in, so moral of the story is keep practicing. All right, thank you for the question. Mr. Supreme, what's up? Um, do you like to freestyle a lot? Do I like to freestyle? I look like a rapper, you think so? <laughs> you like to do a beat? <laughs> My name is Hollywood. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I leave the freestyle up to the music artists. I just play the music. What's up, man? Why do I like my job so much? Because I get to do stuff like this. Come on. I get to do cool stuff like this. I get to play music. I get to travel the world. What? Come on. This is no brainer. What's up, man? What is one of your favorite songs? Hmm, that's a good question. What are my favorite songs? There's so many, there's so many good songs. Um I like I like Drake. Um Did I make? Uh, I, I, I've tried to make a lot. 
do sell, uh, I have sweaters, I have like a online store, and the sweaters are 40 bucks, so you know, tell your parents to throw them to the Christmas tree for you. I'm here with a DJ Hollywood. Channel 1, right? Channel 1. So make sure you tune in. Channel 1. We'll be on the news tomorrow, right? 